What is going on, man? It's the crazy 1870 with Looney Tech, and we're looking at the Logitech rechargeable trackpad uh, for the Max. So, up first, we do have the trackpad, which I will come back to in a minute. Now, we also have an included USB cable, which is used to charge the trackpad, and we also have the standard paperwork quick star guide and some warranty info. So here we have the Logitech trackpad, which comes in this very familiar plastic. And if we look at the side, we do have the on and off switch. Uh, here we have the Bluetooth pairing button and some Logitech branding. At the top, we have the charging input and the sides do have like this glossy black finish, which I think adds a nice touch to the actual design. If we look at the actual pad, I believe it's made out of glass. So when you're using the glass top, your fingers get that smooth glass feel, almost a little bit smoother than the Apple trackpad. And when you set this up, you are gonna have to download a separate software to adjust all the features. You're pretty much gonna get all the same features and settings as you would get with the Apple trackpad. For example, point and click, you can also adjust the tracking speed, scroll and zoom, and also more gestures. It also displays the battery of the actual pad. Uh, it also has a tilt angle, now not as much as the Apple trackpad, but I think that the Logitech rechargeable trackpad feels a little bit more comfortable when using it for long periods of time. And I kind of prefer it over the Apple trackpad, and it also has an integrated mechanical click. Now this is rechargeable, meaning that you're not gonna have to be swapping out batteries like the Apple Magic Trackpad. And if you're looking for a good alternative to the Apple Magic Trackpad, then I would really pull the trigger on this one. More info at looneytech.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and the RSS feed. Now catch you guys on the next one. Late.